Hey, Tom J here with another installment of uh, Camel Craft Beer Reviews. So tonight, for your drinking pleasure, we have from Port Brewing, Santa's Little Helper. Yes, this is an Imperial Stout. Uh, some stats on this beer. Uh, ABV weighs in at 10.5%, so it's a big beer. The IBUs, I checked all over the place, there are none given. Uh, rate Beer gives this an 89, which is uh, very good. And uh, Rate Beer gives it a 99, which is world class. So, yeah, Port Brewing. Uh, what can I say? I love Port Brewing. Uh, everything I've had, I loved. Lost Abbey, their sister company. Everything they do is great. I have much, mucho respect for them. Yeah, you know, you got your goofy little, your goofy little uh, Christmas scene on the front here. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to be like a, uh, I don't know, like a Christmas type of uh, imperial stout, you know, with some flavors of that, or it's just a straight up stout. I'm not really sure, uh, but we're going to find out. So with that, we are going to get this open. And we are going to get this into a glass. Wow, look at that head. I didn't think we were going to get that big of a head. We are going to generate that much, but uh, we did. Okay, so what we have here is a <clears throat> almost a three-finger head. It's a two and a half finger head of very, very fluffy. Uh, let's see, very fluffy, uh, medium tan to like cocoa tan, light cocoa tan type of color. We get it up to the light, almost completely black. I'm seeing a little tiny bit of brown down at the, uh, <clears throat> at the outer edges on the bottom. And that's it, except for that it's completely opaque black. Yeah, looks really nice. Really nice head. Really generated for a 10.5 ABV beer. It really generated a beautiful head. Which is, uh, that looks like it's a sign of things to come. Okay. With that, we're going to get a nose on it. Hmm. I smell coffee. I smell vanilla. I smell some smoke. I smell smokiness. Vanilla, smoke, coffee. Uh, definitely like a uh, definitely like a roasted malt, but not a not a sweet sweet roasted malt. It's just kind of like a uh, a dry dark roasted malt. I mean, I'm, I'm even smelling like a, maybe a little bit of a, some sort of a, maybe like bourbon or whiskey or something like that on it. Just a hint. It's looking really nice though. It's definitely keeping its head for a 10.5, which is nice. Look at that. Looks great. Okay. All right. Let us partake. Salud. Oh boy. Mm. Okay. What I'm getting here is a, I'm getting a big time roasted, almost like a burnt roasted chocolate malt, chocolate. Um, a smoke, I'm definitely getting smoke off of this. Some caramel, some toffee. I'm getting a little hint of uh, 
a little hint of some sort of a liquor. It might be like a bourbon or something. Um, definitely some hops going on here. Some bitterness, which is nice. It's nice. It's uh, not an overly sweet stout. It's it it's actually finishing a little dry. It's like a kind of a drier stout. You know, sometimes you get these sweeter, real goopy sweet. This one has like a dry finish. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like an Irish stout or anything like a dry Irish stout, but it's it's got a little bit of the characteristics of like a dry Irish stout, but not actually all the flavors of that. But the, just as far as the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is medium. It's medium. It's got nice carbonation. Look at the lacing on this. Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything different from port. They never disappoint me. They're always, always good products. Always. Yeah. Coffee. Like a, like an espresso coffee. Not, it's like a, a kind of like a bitter coffee. Chocolate, but on the bitter side, maybe it's the hops that are changing that, making that flavor a little more bitter. It's a little less sweet. It's very, very nice. It's a very delicious. I wouldn't say it's a, <clears throat> I mean, if you look at, if you look at the label, uh, you're getting the idea that this is uh, kind of going to be some sort of a Christmas treat. Maybe some, uh, maybe some cinnamon or some ginger or some kind of nice little, uh, I don't taste anything like that. Uh, it, it's, it's a very nice stout. It is. It's a delicious stout. Uh, but it's a little misleading with its, with its advertisement that it has something to do with, you know, Christmas or the holidays. Because it doesn't. It, it, it's basically just like a very good stout. Uh, with that being said, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a small thing, but... I just don't like when beer companies, they use these little uh, gimmicks to get you to think that like it's one thing when it's not. I, I kind of like beer companies that put it straight up. This is what it is. And that's what it is. This is making me, me believe that it's some sort of a Christmas uh, flavored stout. And that's not the case. I'm not tasting any ginger. I'm not tasting any cinnamon. I'm not tasting any of those, those things. Not that that makes a difference. It's just that it's kind of like it's false advertisement. So I'm carrying on. Let's go on with the review here. Wonderful mouthfeel. Definitely hoppy. It's uh, it's on the hoppier side of a stout. There's no question. Which is not a bad thing. Um. Let me see, like, uh, I'll give you an example. Mm, Oscar Blues 1050. It's hoppy. And this, it's not exactly the same, but it's kind of like on the same lines as that. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very hoppy type of stout. And uh, that's, that's what this is. It's very hoppy. Mm -hmm. It's not coffee from any coffee additions. It's just, a, I guess it's just the, the malts, the, the roasted malts they're using, the, the coffee type of malts they're using that are creating that flavor. But uh, yeah, coffee, bitter chocolate, caramel, maybe a little vanilla, some smoke, and a little bit of bourbon. That's what I'm getting here. Very tasty. Mm-hmm. Nice stuff, real nice stuff. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this rest up for a little bit. We're gonna come back in a little while after it's warmed. See what we get. Usually we get something when they warm up these stouts, especially these stouts. And uh, we'll see what we get in a little while. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so we let this uh, Sanders little helper warm up a little bit. Um, Pretty much stayed true, except for the fact that the uh, alcohol has emerged, which uh, when I first started drinking it before, uh, it was pretty well hidden. For a 10.5%, it was well hidden. But 
Uh, it got a little more boozy as it got warmer. The, uh, the bitterness is pretty pronounced in this beer. It's not a lightweight. It's, it's, got, it's, it's got a good amount of hops in it, for sure. You know, and it gives it a pretty kind of... Um, as it got warmer, the, the coffee flavor got a little kind of burnt, a little astringent coffee. You know, it's a little bit too... Maybe a little bit too, too much on the burnt side for me. Uh, it's just not, it's, it, you know, I'm not, I'm not ripping it terribly. It's a, it's a very good stout. It's a very good stout. Uh, it's just missing a couple of little things that would make it even better. It's a little bit on the dry side. I'm not a big fan of dry stouts, like an Irish stout, like a dry Irish stout. I don't like, I'm not a fan. I need a little sweetness. It's a little lacking in the sweetness. Uh... And it has bitterness, but the bitterness has turned into a coffee, astringent coffee bitterness, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the taste of burnt, burnt coffee grinds. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's good. It's really good. And I don't mean to rip on this because it's it's good, but uh, those couple little flaws knock it down a notch or two for me. So with that being said, I'm just gonna finish this last little bit. Great lacing, by the way. Well, quality made beer. Quality made beer. No, no question. I mean, mouthfeel was great. Everything was good on it. The alcohol was fairly well hidden, but it it, it emerged as it got warmer. But I mean, it is 10.5. But all in all, quality beer. So with that, here we go. Down the hatch. Vanilla, maybe a little bit of molasses in there. Definitely some some chocolate, but bittersweet chocolate and bitter coffee. Now I'm getting that. I don't know whether it's the hops that are doing it for me. Like I love I love bitterness and I love hop bitterness, but sometimes when it's overdone in a stout, it, it makes it taste almost like it's a just a just a bitter coffee like you're chewing on burnt coffee grinds and I, I hate that that I don't like all in all it's a very good beer it can't get a top 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 score for me it, it just it can't because it's got a couple of flaws so with that I'm gonna go for a score let's see what are we gonna do here I'm gonna give this port brewing and this is probably the uh the lowest score I'm ever going to score. I've, I've never scored a port brewing below, I think, like 93 or 4. But this is going to go a little below. Um, this will go... This is going to go 89 for me. 89. So it's a high 8 out of 10. It was very tasty. It just had a couple of a couple of things that went, uh, went askew there, which, uh, you know, for me, didn't do it. But all in all, very, very good. Uh, if you see it out, pick it up. It's certainly a good beer. There's no question. It got an 89. That's, that's, that's a very good beer. But for me, it wasn't, it wasn't top echelon. So, Okay, so this is Tom J. for King of Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, I'm going to sign off. And until next time, just remember to drink responsibly. And I will see you next time.